Welcome to the old horseshoe in the banks of the Olentangy. Home to the Ohio State Buckeyes, one of the great settings in sport. And man, this place is rocking today. Today, two teams from the even bigger Big Ten clash, a conference that now stretches from the Atlantic all the way to the Pacific. This will be a good one. As we'll see, the Iowa Hawkeyes taking on the second-ranked team, the Ohio State Buckeyes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. Guys will kick it away to start us off. Fields it inside the five yard line. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. So Iowa's offense comes on the field first today. And this quarterback, of course, Kirk, he's the guy that stirs the drink for this team. You talk about the total package. He runs it, produces it, directs it, acts out all the scenes. He's the whole package. I love a quarterback who understands the ins and outs of a football game. The ball is picked off. Short return tackle made at the 27. A crucial takeaway. For the very first play of the game, you throw an interception. Tough way to start this game. Usually you'd like to set the tone, get your feet on the ground, and get this game going the right direction. But instead, it's a pick, and now you put your own defense in a tough spot. Outstanding field position to begin this drive. First down, looking to throw the ball. Finds his man. It's Smith. Then he'll run out of bounds after picking up a few yards on the play. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. That completion sets up a second down play. He'll hand it off. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Grab behind the line. It's Tate. And he's brought down just short of the marker on that play. Good job by the defense to prevent the first down. Well, any time an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit and swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. Long enough and good. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3-0. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Iowa offense is back out on the field. Let's see how this quarterback responds. Remember, an interception on the very first play of the last possession. Nothing doing in that play. The big D tackle there for the stop. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fit, stay holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. Important second down play coming up. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Tackle made after just a short game. Well, it's been tough so far to get this drive going. Now they face third and 10 from inside their own 20. What's the call going to be? Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. 
And the senior making a disruptive impact play. Well, today's middle linebacker has to have the ability to cover, to be able to be a great run stuffer. Also, the ability to blitz and get after the quarterback. There's an example of it right there. These guys are becoming more and more athletic every year in college football. And the Hawkeyes will send their punt team onto the field. Oh, and he's got some space here. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain on the return. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. They've got the lead, but hadn't settled for a field goal last time out. They'd love to find the end zone here. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Well, not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. They didn't lose any yards, which is great. But I think they're definitely looking for more from that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Bakes the handoff, looking to throw. Looking for the wide out. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge gain, but he could not collect it. After the incompletion, the lineup here for a third and seven. Looking downfield, it's Howard. Tries the right with a quick throw. He's got it for a big game. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. Well, this is why this guy's one of the top wide receivers in college football. It's third down. The defense knows you're probably going to go to him, and they still can't stop him from coming down with a big play. The Buckeyes line up on first and ten now. On the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. That's reeled in. It's Tate. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid gain. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. There's the handoff. Got space, looking to score. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Chris, we get so caught up in this era of the spread, of throwing the football and the quarterback and the receivers. This is a great example of the value of having a running back that has a nose for the end zone and can take it in for a touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the extra point gives them a double-digit lead. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five be tackled at the 17 strong job by the coverage team and the Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field last time was a quick three and out can they get a drive going this time makes a quick catch they bring him down but he was fast enough to get that first down yardage you know this is what makes this receiver so dangerous if you play him in man he can run by you for a big play you decide to sit back in zone and he's got the savvy and instincts to be able to find that soft spot in the zone, make a catch, and be dangerous after the catch as well. And they'll try to pick it up on the ground. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. 
That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag. Brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Offense will try to convert a third and long from the 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Incomplete. He was hit as he threw the ball. That's a big third down defensive play. When a defense picks the right time to get after this quarterback, third down, critical down and distance, do a good job of dialing things up, and good coverage downfield. He didn't have anywhere to go with the ball. The Hawkeyes will line up to kick it away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. The fair catch made at the 30-yard line. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. Can they keep it going? They mix the run and pass beautifully in the last touchdown drive. He shreds the tackle. They've got him at the 48, but that's a first down. Well, that's a beautiful run here for the first down. Really living up to that reputation of the great backs that they've had over the years. Think about Archie Griffin and Eddie George, Ezekiel Elliott, J.K. Dobbins. Just so many great backs. We're seeing another one right here. What guys will crank up the tempo. First down, right back to the running game. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. It, he just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. To throw, it's Howard. Throws to the tight end. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. Well, this is just an outstanding job by this defender being in phase against this receiver and being able to tip that ball away. He actually tips it up into the air. The offense catches a break that that ball's not intercepted. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Quarterback moving out of the pocket, trying to create. Slides down to avoid the tackle. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but, man, make the play. Bring him down. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. The Buckeyes will have to kick it away. First part of the game now, looking to pin him back deep. And the putt flies out of bounds. They'll spot this around the 25-yard line. Okay, so the Hawkeyes' offense is back out on the field. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away. Can they finally get things going this time? The sophomore with a strong tackle there. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Offense getting set. It's second down. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. And he's tackled after the catch. They're able to get a short gain to make this third down a little bit more manageable. But it is third and long, so this offensive line's got to be ready, do a good job of communicating, and pick up any potential blitzes here on third and long. Offense facing a third and long from the 28. Got to have your pass protection in order on this play. And hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. And the Hawkeyes will line up to punt it away. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. Turner brought down. Sets up the next drive. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. Forced to punt last time. Trying to add points. Build the lead right here. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. The gain is three yards. Brings up a second down and seven. From 
the shotgun. Here's an inside give. Catch made, but the defense gobbles him up for just a short game. An important third down attempt for this offense. And the wideout goes in motion. Looking downfield, it's Howard. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. That's a nice game to move the sticks here as time runs out in the first quarter. Well, Ohio State has the lead here, Kirk. They jumped out to an early lead in that opening period. Let's take a quick look at the stats so far. And as we flip the field and begin quarter number two, we'll see if they can continue to build this lead. Ball handed to the running back. The gain is three yards, so second and seven. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll hand it off. Oh, what a move. And they finally stop him, but a decent gain that time. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four or more yards a pop like that. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Receiver in motion now. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Hit as he releases it, and the pass ball is incomplete. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points, but they could have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So now on comes the field goal unit. This will be about a 53-yard attempt. Let's see if he can get it there. He missed it. And the lead remains 10 after that miss. Now that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. And now you can see he's hanging his head. A poor kicker. And the Iowa offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. On first and ten, we're going to throw. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. And sack sets up second down. Looking for some space. It's Williams. And they bring him down. That's a very solid gain, but still well short of the marker. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. And he's a good back. But I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. The Hawkeyes will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. Third down, he drops to throw. And it's complete downfield. Tackle made after a big game. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. This offense has gotten going at long last. It's another first and ten. Single back takes the handoff. They get him down, but that's a solid gain. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. 
Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. The offense going with the hurry up. To the air, it's McNamara. Snags the quick throw. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. Well, this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball, and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. The sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. What a play here by this defensive line. You can get so caught up in the flashy offense of Ohio State in recent years. But let's not forget, they still play defense in the shoe and have such great history and tradition with that defensive line play. Pass protection, a serious issue. Another sack makes it second and long. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Well, Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but it is third down and long. From the shotgun, drops back, looking for an open man. And it's incomplete again. Fourth down coming up. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over, and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. Knocks that one right down the middle. Now, oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Gets it to the 25-yard line, and that's where they start the drive. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. The last drive was a little demoralizing. They stalled and then missed a field goal. Gets made on the out route. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Nice throw and catch here for the Buckeyes. And you know, Chris, it's hard to think of a time when Ohio State didn't have an efficient and prolific quarterback under center. The game moves the ball to the 39. It'll be first down. Dropping back. It's Howard. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Chris, all week they heard about how fast this guy is. The defense coordinator told them they watched the film. They've seen this guy a lot. But I think the reality of seeing it now in person, I think it surprised them. They've got to make some adjustments to their defense. Or this guy and his speed will continue to have a field day. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Yeah. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Second down after that run on the previous play. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. 
Caught behind the line. It's Tate. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Offense hungry to convert here in third down. They don't want to send out the field goal team after what happened in the last attempt. They'll try the option play here. They make the stop just short of the marker. It's going to be fourth down and inches to go. Well, they tried to grind that out for those two yards, and they came up just short. I'm talking inches short. You know the players are going to say, hey, coach, let's go for it. We can make it. We can make it. It's fourth down and inches. Get behind that line and go for it. And the field goal is good. And they add to their lead. Chris, they get the three points, but looking back at it, fourth and inches. Pretty conservative call there. I really thought they would have gone for it. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. And here's the return from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17, strong job by the coverage team. And the Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field. Tough to win these games kicking field goals. They know they need to reach the end zone this time. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. So it's second down and long here from the 13. Looking to pass, it's McNamara. Scrambling, now he'll make the throw. Makes the catch downfield. The quarterback was selling that he was going to throw the ball downfield, and I think the defense fell for it. Instead, he goes to the curl route, and I think it really caught this defense off guard. So we've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense trying to get something going here and cut into this lead before halftime. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. First down, looking to throw the football. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Looking to throw again. Fires it to the wideout. Falls incomplete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. Some players just have a real knack for timing their jump, and that defender was able to get a big paw on the ball and bat it away. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back, they're going to throw for the first down. Running out of time in the pocket. Throws the ball away, but not before taking a hit. Chris, this offensive coordinator is going to have to adjust. We've seen hits and sacks and pressure on this quarterback all game long. They've got to find a solution to create more time for the quarterback to be able to throw the football or maybe completely overhaul and change what they're doing on offense. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. He's going to try to return the punt. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. Looking to build on this lead on this possession. Had to settle for three last time out. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Big gain across midfield all the way down to the 34-yard line. 
The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. The offense now operating in empty. Looking to throw it on first down. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Ohio State. Boy, what a job by the offensive coordinator going to that five wide receiver set, creating the one-on-one -on -one matchups, finding the most favorable matchup, and then going to that receiver for the score. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime with the touchdown. Now they kick off in hopes the defense can get a quick stop. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Look at now throwing here to start the drive. Cut quickly. And they bring him down quickly, but that's a solid gain on the short throw. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. And completion makes it second and short. Back to throw. It's McNamara. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag. Doesn't get it. Brings up third down. That's a misfire there, Chris. This passing game has got to be able to get into sync and find a rhythm. The putter has been very busy so far. Can they finally convert here on third down? Now, if the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Catch made by the tight end. Tackle's made, but not before he makes the 43-yard line. This drive is going now. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. And the Hawkeyes getting set on first and 10. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Caught over the middle. It's Anderson. The offense spends their final timeout of the half here to talk strategy. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. Gets the ball off as he's hit, but it's incomplete. I mean, this defense is having their way with this offensive line. That poor quarterback doesn't have a chance. Every time he drops back to throw, he's getting ear -holed. You better make some adjustments up front to give your poor quarterback a chance. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long. But when you're so far behind the chains, when you really allow this defense to dictate things, and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw on this play. So they'll send out the field goal unit to give it a shot here from very long distance. And that one is no good. The deficit remains 17 points off the mess. That's a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown at the very least three points, but instead, he shanks it. Here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. And with time quickly fading here before halftime, wouldn't expect them to be too aggressive at this point. The sure hands, it's Scott. And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage.
Second down play coming up for this offense. Looking to pass. It's Howard. And he's got it. Tackle is finally made, but it's down at the 28-yard line. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Makes a quick grab. The offense will now quickly spend a timeout. So just before halftime here, out comes the field goal unit. This one is right through. And that field goal, the final play of this opening half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Columbus for an entertaining first half than you? An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to watch this one unfold. Back to our guys in the booth. The Hawkeyes will kick this away to begin the second half. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. It's a quarterback keeper. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. I'll give them credit. They didn't lose anything, so it wasn't a negative play. But this kind of play's got to be able to hit big and get down the sidelines for big yards. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. And here's the handoff. Breaking free at the 35. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Outstanding blocking on the left side of that offensive line. That's really what opened up this play. They did their job, and you can see the results. You burst open and get a big gain on the ground. If I were them, I'd keep going to that side and see how much more success they can have. So the offense with the first and ten now. The football placed exactly at midfield. Back now goes in motion. Defense will have to adjust. It's a quick grab. Breaking free at the 35. More tight of bounds, but it's another big game. This offense producing chunk plays through the air. Boy, another great throw and catch here by the Buckeyes, and it just makes you think back how far this offense has come from the days of being known of three yards in a cloud of dust to now being one of the more efficient passing offenses in the country. Year after year, you go back to Cardell Jones and J.T. Barrett, all the way back to Troy Smith, and most recently with C.J. Stroud and Justin Field. Just another great quarterback that we're watching here today for the Buckeyes. The Buckeyes lining up here on first and ten. Scanning the field. It's Howard. Dump off caught by the running back. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Short completion there. Second down coming up. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. What a play by the defense. Really, the only way they can get back into this game is to create a turnover. They get an interception, and they're in business. OK, 
Okay, so the Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field. They need something out of this possession. The last time they settled for a field goal attempt, but then they missed it. Fights through the tackler. And the defense able to hold him there to a short gain. Boy, I thought he might shake free there. He's able to break one tackle, but give credit to the secondary. Good job of coming up and run support. And the Hawkeyes come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag. Brings up third down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. They punted four times already on the verge of a fifth. But they can't convert this third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Makes the grab. It's Brown. Tackled, but first down. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. First down here for this offense. Keeping it on the ground here. And the runner brought down after just a short game. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Dropping back, it's McNamara. Couldn't find anybody open and just has to throw it away. Urgency now for the offense. They'd hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. And he'll drop back here on third down. Looking for his big tight end. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Whoa, you talking about a big hit there? I think this guy holds on to this football at a critical third down if this linebacker doesn't lower the blow. Great timing on that hit to prevent the P.I. call and to get this team to fourth down. The Hawkeyes will line up to punt it away. On the kick now for the fifth time today. And the returner brought down by the coverage team now. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. They had some good things going on the last drive, but it ended suddenly with the pick. Let's see what they can do here. Grab down the middle. It's Thurman. It's off the play fake there. The big tight end gets open downfield. Well, I love this call right here. Anytime you can run the football, eventually it opens up play action. Linebackers and safety's eyes are in the backfield. They lose the tight end completely, and a quarterback throws that one on rhythm for a nice game. So the ball placed right at midfield as the offense starts with a first and ten. They'll run it here. That's the running back with the ball. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Now it's second down here. Offense looking to throw the ball. Oh, and he dropped it. You do not see that very often from this guy. He's going to bring up third down. Chris, I don't know, man. I think he gets across the middle. He starts thinking about those linebackers and safeties. Got a little bit nervous. Lost his concentration and drops the ball. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. To the air. It's Howard. Quick throw to his receiver. It's caught downfield. And they tackle him, but not before a huge gain down near the 26. Boy, this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. Buckeyes pick up first down yardage to keep the drive going. He gains nine, so it's second and one. 
Just love watching his back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. The Buckeyes look at a cash in in the red zone. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Tipped and then drops. A chance to make a play, but instead it's third down. Boy, this quarterback is really rolling the dice out here today. Remember, he threw an interception the last time they had the ball. I thought he might learn from that, but instead he comes out throwing it into coverage again, somehow catches a break on this tip ball that this one was an interception. He better tighten up his decision-making. He's going to cost himself a game. Delivers quickly to the left side. Oh, and another incompletion. Well, it's decision time now, Chris. Fourth and short coming up, and you know they're thinking about going for this one. Likely looking at that play sheet and finding the go-to play that'll help them pick up this first down and keep this drive alive. They're thinking six points. A running play called on fourth down. He did not get it. A crucial play by this defense. What a fourth down stop. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Look at out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. I mean, that's just being a difference maker up front. You look at that uniform, you think over the years with Joey Bosa, Nick Bosa, and Chase Young, and so many great defensive linemen. And this guy right here is showing you he's got some of the similar skill set as some of those greats. First down loss sets up second and long from the 11. Here's the handoff. That run moves the ball to the 16. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Pressure is coming. They trap him and sack him back at the 10. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. will line up to punt it away. Forced to kick it away for the sixth time. And the ball is away from his own end zone. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. On the last possession, they passed up on a field goal attempt, but got stopped on fourth down. What can they do here? And he dunks it off to the tight end. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. Second down after that run on the previous play. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. And the Buckeyes are going to keep this drive rolling. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. That's an important first down on that running play. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Defense makes the tackle, but that screen produces a pretty solid gain. Screen plays are risky because the defense can get to the quarterback and it also can be covered. Many times, the quarterback just throws it away. Here, they get some positive yards. A completion makes it second down. Dropping back, it's Howard looking for his big tight end. And the pass is dropped incomplete. Would have had a huge gain. Took his eye off the ball.
critical third down play for this offense right here. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. There's the tackle, but first down yardage. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. You got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. Looking for a gap is Henderson. The running back has been busy today, but not much to show for it. The defense all over him again. That was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, Kirk, Ohio State has the lead here after one. So after three quarters of play, it's a pretty solid lead. Let's take a look at our game stats, how we got here. So one final quarter to play. It's going to take a lot to turn this game around, but strange things do happen in college football. Here comes the handoff. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. So out comes the field goal team one more time. This kicker has been busy today. He's made three already. The kick is good. Offense collects three points on the drive. And that will extend their lead even further. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. So after adding to this big lead, they are set to kick it away. He'll return it from inside the five. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. And the Iowa offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Let's a fly to the wide out. Caught over the middle. It's Anderson. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Finally, good for them. They come up with a big play like this. Let's face it, offense has been at a premium for these guys. You wonder where plays like this have been all game long. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. To throw, it's McNamara. Makes a quick catch. The game is five, so it's second and five now. I really like what this defensive coordinator is doing right now. He's got a nice lead to sit back. The most important thing is tackling this offense inbounds so that clock will keep ticking. A second down after that completion. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. And he'll head out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for a first down. Oh, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. The Hawkeyes begin a new series here, first and ten. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Short pass, finds the tight end. Breaks a tackle on the play and makes a decent gain. I love what the defense is doing here. Sitting back, giving up some plays underneath, tackling these guys inbounds, and just keep that clock rolling. Pass caught, second down now. Quarterback pulls the ball, it's a keeper. Refusing to be brought down before gaining first down yardage. I love the toughness of this quarterback to be able to pick up some good yards like this, to move the chains, keep this drive alive. His team will feed off of his energy when he makes plays like this. 
And the Hawkeyes are going to cash in here in the red zone. In the red area, it's Williams. And they stop him at the four after an excellent run. Well, depending on the temperament of the head coach, he's either turning to the bench and screaming, where in the heck was that all game? Or maybe he's just kind of keeping that to himself, thinking, all right, maybe this is something to build on. Maybe something positive can come out of this. You're going to have some bad games from time to time. We'll see how he gets his team ready in the future. But that right there, man, that's what they've been looking for all game. Wide receiver gets the ball trying for the end zone. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, Iowa. Guy cooked up for this two point conversion attempt. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. A pop pass on the jet sweep. And he's not going to get there. The two point try fails. They can't cut into this deficit any further. Formation would indicate they're going to try the onside kick here. And the receiving team makes the recovery. The hands team does its job perfectly. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. The last possession, they moved it, but settled for a chip shot. So it's sort of an unsatisfying result. Looking to do more here. A gain of two yards. Now it's second down and eight. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound, and it's really solid defense on that play. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. On the run, it's Henderson. Tackled at the 33. That's good enough for a first down. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call and just keep working that clock. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. You know, I'd say this run is pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, the guys up front have controlled the line of scrimmage. They've given a the quarterback time to throw. They've been able to run, really, whatever they've wanted to. That's why the points are going up on the board. Right now, the psyche of this offense is we're in control, and we can do whatever we want, whatever we feel like doing. We got a lane. Can he get in? And he's run out after a big game. The offense has been set up with a first down and goal. You know, they've got a lead here late in the game, and the play calling, I think, shows you how much confidence they have in this quarterback. He's had a pretty clean game today, and this decision to still throw the ball with the lead shows you that they believe he's going to make the right decisions and make the accurate throws. Dropping back, it's Howard. Touchdown, Buckeyes! Stretching the lead. This one is getting ugly. Well, that's a thing of beauty right there. Good job all around. Offensive line gave the quarterback enough time. Quarterback puts it right on the money. And with this receiver running a route like this, makes it pretty simple. All you have to do is get his head turned around, catch that football. He's already in the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead.
Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. And the Hawkeyes offense is back out on the field. First play of the drive, they're going to throw the football. With the catch, it's Williams. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Hey, it's positive yards, right? That, that's never a bad thing. But let's face it, Chris. These guys got a long way to go in a short amount of time to do it. So let's get the ball downfield and let's get out of bounds to try to preserve that clock. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Quarterback drops back from the shotgun looking for a receiver. Grab down the middle. It's Williams. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Well, playing with the lead, good job by this defense to keep the receiver in bounds. Try to keep that clock moving, trying to secure a victory. That completion makes it second and medium. Scanning the field, it's McNamara. Quick throw complete to the tight end. And the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it go. What a job to lay out and make the catch. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. Chris, when that quarterback threw that football, I didn't think that play had much of a chance. How about the effort by this wide receiver to lay out and come up with that completion for positive yards? First down here, the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. Look at it, chuck it again. It's a short completion of the tight end. Big man finally brought down by the cornerback. That was a tough assignment. That completion makes it second and medium. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Fires it to the wideout. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. How about the defense today? They have played so well. I think the defensive coordinator put together a great plan. His kids clearly understood their scheme because they have been aggressive and attacking all game long. After the incompletion, they'll face a third and six. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. And he lofts it toward the left sideline. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it brings up fourth. Boy, this offense has really struggled today, Chris, when it comes to throwing the football. They have dug themselves a huge hole. They're not going to have any chance of coming back. And I think one thing about this is you wonder where you go from here. You're hoping to make a play or two to give yourself a belief that things can get better, but it's just been a disastrous day for the offense. Finds this receiver. That's enough for the first down. They make the tackle, but he easily gets first down yardage, and the drive keeps going. And the offense will wisely spend a timeout after the play. Clock management's going to be very important here in the final minutes. The Hawkeyes will have first and ten here. To throw, it's McNamara. Fires it on the move. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. Here's the second down play. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. Offense keeps possession, recovers the fumble. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks have got to do a better job of having awareness and taking care of the football. Felt like he got the ball away from his body there a little bit, allowing it to be knocked free. He caught a break because one of his own teammates was able to see that and get on top of the ball. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. Here's a shot toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. 
Chris, remember in college football, it's just one foot down to be able to count for a touchdown. Does a great job towards the back line there. Doesn't go out of bounds. Goes up into the air and gets that one foot down. That's good. That's a score. Now a two-point conversion attempt coming up. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Not able to connect, incomplete. Defense not fooled at all there. Nice job of stepping up and stopping that two-point conversion. Looks like they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And looks like the hands team are able to recover the football. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. This has been a tremendous performance by this team. Now just the finishing touches. Run out the clock and let the party begin. Great cut there. Tough running there. Breaks a tackle. Picks up the first down. Man, is he pretty to watch run this option. He is so dangerous with the threat to run or to throw. This time he keeps it himself. And you can see how much ground he eats up with that kind of speed. That run, good for a first down. The offense still rolling. Looking for some space. It's Henderson. Runner finding some space there. That's a solid gain on the ground. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice gain like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice gain. Second down after that run on the previous play. 